Do you mind helping me on the Sunday serving today? Hey, welcome back to the Sunday Serving Channel, where you come every week for a word from the gospel. And today, a very special guest speaker here, my friend Rory. Rory McKern, right? How old are you, Rory? Six. Rory's six. And where are we? I'm seven because my seventh birthday. So Rory's seven. So happy birthday, Rory. And we're here in New South Wales, There's Australia. What's this lake called that we're at? Um, Co Co you see that tiny little bit? Yeah. Way out there, I see some humans. Yeah. Um, if you're way out there, then it seems to never end. And from the bit out there, it looks probably the same distance to me. Here, when I was doing it, it seemed just this far away. Yeah. So you took a ride in that boat out there? Yeah. It's a tiny, yeah. tiny little fiberglass boat. So there's a, a small boat out there that the kids here from the Danathoni community have been taking rides in, in this big lake here called well, Copen Dam. So Rory, this is only a quarter of it. It's only a quarter of it. Imagine that. So what Bible story? Because we like to do a Bible story for the for this Sunday serving video. What Bible story does this remind you of that we could read today? You know that one about where where Jesus walked on water? Yes, I've heard it before. Should we do that one? Have you ever tried to walk on water? <laughs> I mean, that's, imagine that, like go out there and walk on the water. Or what's your what's your name again? Moya. Moya, have you tried Actually, to? Happy birthday. Hey, happy birthday, Moya. Thanks. How old are you? Ten. Ten. So have you ever tried walking on water, Moya? I saw someone cry once, and he cried and cried and cried, and it didn't work. But there's a story in the Bible about Jesus walking in water. Should we read it? Should we read it today, Rory? For the Sunday serving channel? So it goes like this. It says, Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. So it was a crowd even bigger than this of all your friends here. And they'd come to listen to Jesus. They didn't come to swim that day, I don't think. But he, he, he told them to go home. And after he dismissed them, he went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, he was there alone. And the boat was already a considerable distance from the land. So there's a boat coming in. It's probably even farther out than that. Buffeted by the waves. So because the wind was against it. So there must have been a, a big windstorm. And the wave, the, have you ever seen big waves here? You get pretty scary when it's yeah. You get pretty scary when there's big waves and you're in a boat. It feels like the boat's gonna tip over and you might drown. It says shortly before dawn, so it must have been a night. Jesus went out to them, to the disciples in the boat, walking on the lake. Now, imagine if we were in that boat, with Peter and John, who were the other disciples? Maybe Philip and Nathaniel, right? And you suddenly see someone walking on the water. What would you think? Yeah, we would think it's Jesus because we've heard this story, but imagine they didn't know that. So they were probably really scared, wondering who it was. And it says here, it says when they saw him, they were terrified. It's, exactly, it says, it's a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter said, tell me to come to you on the water. Come. So Jesus said, come to Peter. Peter's in a boat. He sees Jesus walking in the water. He says, come. Now, put yourself in Peter's shoes or Peter's swimsuit, whatever we're in, right? Would you, would you jump out of the boat and start walking in the water? That's an honest answer. Probably not, right? It would, it would take a lot of faith. But Peter did. He got out of the boat and walked on the water. Peter, not Jesus, Peter and came toward Jesus. But when he looked out and saw the wind and the waves and the water, he was afraid. Have you ever been afraid? It was pretty normal to be afraid. And as soon as he was afraid, he began to sink. And he cried out, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus reached out and caught him. And he said, oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? And doubting is when you know something's true, but you, you, you worry that it's actually not true. Peter doubted that Jesus had the power to 
to save him from walking on water. And he reached out and he caught him. And he, they got on the boat and the wind died down. And that said those in the boat worshiped him saying, truly you are the son of God. So that's the point. Jesus is a son of God. He can do anything. He can, we have faith in him. We can walk on water. He can do anything. So remember that whenever you're afraid. Hey? Glory and more. And your friends here. And that boat there is probably a little different. The one that Jesus. That's yeah. probably a wooden boat for fishing. Do you see that boat? It's the same boat that you saw me out there. So, anyways, uh, to all of you out there, here we are in Australia. And the Bible stories are real here, like they are, anyways. So, God bless you. Have a wonderful week. And uh, we might get to do one more Sunday serving from Australia, hopefully. I don't know if it'll be with my friends Rory and Moya, but maybe someone else. So see you later.